What is going on, geeks? My name is Unite the Clans, and today we are going to be building this cabin. All right, guys, so take a look. This is a project I've been working on. Apologies for the lack of videos of late. The reason you haven't seen as many videos is because I have been getting my own Arc Surfer setup. This is it. And here we will do great things. We will do a lot of building. That is what I'm excited for. And this is step one. It is a little cabin and I got the inspiration uh, from a picture. One of the first links in your description will be a picture of the cabin that inspired me. This is it. As night falls, you'll get an even better look at it. Let's break ourselves in here. I've got my Caprasucos on the back. That's one of the newest dinosaurs in the game. And a um, little fireplace in here. I've also got a little torch. This one's lit with spark powder. And these ones on the side that's made of wood and glass are lit with angler gel. So you get this much cleaner, lighter view. Now I'm wearing a helmet uh, with a hat on it, or a light on it, so I'm going to get that off and you'll get a true view of what this place looks like at night. Pretty cool. So we are going to be building this thing together and we're going to be doing it over there on a fresh raft because yes, not only is this a swamp cabin, it is a fishing houseboat and we've got chairs set up up front. You probably saw in the intro a little clip of me fishing. So let's build this thing. Let's build it together. All right, guys, so let's get started with raft placement, and there we go. Now, I'm going to go hide the sail on this, and then we're going to start playing around with uh, the foundations to get them just the way we want them. Now, this is one of the few tricky parts of this build. What I would do is the first step, uh, if you look on my bar, I've got thatch foundations, I've got wooden pillars, and I've got stone foundations. The stone foundations are there to replace thatch once we're feeling confident, uh, but to drive... Uh, or to place the first pillar, grab the handle and without moving your mouse, hit your wooden pillar and click. And now what you should get is with this slightly off the end, but centered, centered on where the sail would be. And if you don't touch anything, you shouldn't have too much trouble getting it that way. Now, if we were to snap a stone foundation off this, get out of here, you feel me? Uh, it's going to be uh, at too high a height for us. We want this to be... Uh, fairly low and if you want you can get it low enough that you can actually operate that rudder from above so the way to do that and this is not my trick is to snap uh, pillars and if you look down for a snap point you'll actually get a pillar that is slightly lower than the next so that if we were to foundation off this you'd see it drops down even more um, now while we're doing that we're gonna, <laughs> gonna keep going back and forth and I'm gonna try and get a low snap point for this one no, that didn't work. Okay, so you sometimes have to play around with these, and you guys might have to leave me be, but uh, there are people who have tricks for lowering foundations and videos dedicated to that topic, including my friend Monkey Puzzle and a few other great YouTubers. So go check theirs out. I'm going to play around with this until I get the foundations at a height and in a position that I like them. So this is roughly what you should be looking at. Uh, this has been lowered to the point that these stick just above. At the next stage down, the wood of the raft actually sticks through, so that's where you're going to want to stop. Now you may run into a problem and go, how do you get one to snap off the back? Now this is another trick that is not mine, but if you snatch a thatch ceiling and you put it right there, oh, frog hiding under a boat, then you can cheat and extend a, we'll see if it lets us, yeah, you can extend a foundation out here. Now that is the trick we're going to use to extend past the natural limits of the raft. We're going to smash this thatch ceiling and now we're going to have foundations everywhere we need them. So this pillar was lowered uh, enough times to get us to this point. If you go one lower, the wood of the raft sticks through. Uh, so that's important to note, but you need to go one through or I think uh, one lower to get the rudder to stick through. But as part of my design, the rudder will not stick through. So I'm just going to lay out the foundation in the general shape we've been going for here guys and uh, I will show you what it looks like as a final result so now that we've got that snap point we can get rid of that pillar these are some of the advanced tricks you learn the more you build with arc so this is the front of our raft and we actually only have foundations snapping off here and here now for those of you that want to use this trick by the way you can use it on any platform oh that's all right. I got some got some caprasucus's gardens so that we don't get too many freaks coming down here for us uh, Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. So one of the tricks if you're going to do this a lot, and you can do it on a Pariser saddle uh, platform, on a Quetz saddle platform, uh, on the Titano, uh, on um, 
rafts, obviously. So you can actually place the uh, stone foundation from above and then get rid of the thatch ceiling and you never have to risk going in the water and getting your face eaten by a mega piranha, which has happened a lot to me today. So there's our last one. And this is the shape that I am going for. Now, what I was able to do on the test version is put a sloped stone roof in here. Uh, so let's see if it would let me snap one. It took some real playing around last time. Boom. So that's the rough shape of your raft. Your house is going to be two by six in these middle two by three, sorry, for a six a foundation house in the middle. You're going to have a little uh, captain's area back here and a couple little landing spots here. And then this front porch is going to be a fishing deck. So on to stage two of this build. Guys, I forgot to mention we are building on the island, the original, the OG map. And we are doing it, uh, check it out, at 57.2 and 78.0 by this really cool swampy waterfall and this long river that leads out to the ocean. All right, geeks, take a look at the hot bar. Here is what you will need. I've got some sloped stone roofs, some sloped stone walls left and right, stone door frames, stone window frame, and some walls. And I've pulled this one up close so that we can get a better view. I'm currently standing on that little fishing porch with the two chairs and the scorched earth vessel on it. Uh, so this is basically two separate buildings built on one foundation. And uh, it was the only way I could really get the effect I wanted. So we're going to start with the window there. And if you want, you can grab uh, some glass window frames. Now this, of course, like most of my builds, is a PvE build. It wouldn't do quite as well in a PvP scenario. It's designed for those of you that like building beautiful things. And hopefully that is our goal today. So take some stone walls, go one, two, and there's going to be a door frame right here. Now, because we got two foundations here, pay attention to which one you're snapping it to. You want to have this inner kind of wood baseboard texture line right up. And it looks like it's going to. Perfect. So that's the first part of this here. Now, the interesting thing, I'm going to put walls on this foundation to fully encase this little room in stone and then on the other side i'm going to put wooden walls on the inside of this foundation to fully encase this little room in wood so let's take on that step now so this will go here this will go here and we're going to want uh, another door frame and we're going to make make sure we're in the right spot so we'll place that and then this one is just going to be a wall so that's done, and now we continue this process. We keep slapping um, uh, these sloped roofs on, or sloped walls. So there's one, there's the other, and now we can complete this little section like that. Now this room will eventually have a bunk bed and a fireplace in it, but we'll get to the interior decoration at the end. Guys, I think other than a wooden door, which I'll put right here, that does it for stage two on to stage three. All right, take a step back, guys. I forgot a very important detail. To accomplish what I was hoping to accomplish, uh, you need to use some fence foundation. So we're going to put one here, and we're going to put one uh, here, but flipped with the, we'll see if I can get it in place, flipped with the Q button, and that should have everything line up the way we want it to. Uh, so to complete this stone section, we're going to want to be on the inside here and we'll be forcing this onto the inner one of these. Perfect. And then what we should be able to do after that is put one on here as well. There you go. So that is the look I was going for. I'm going to rebuild the stone portion and I'll bring you back to do the wooden portion. All right, guys. So it took some serious trial and error, but I've managed it. We've got an all wood facade there an all stone facade here and I had to get rid of these sloped roofs to do it just be careful because there now will be multiple snap points and you want your roofs to stay lined up as long as they look lined up right there you got nothing to worry about now uh, the next step for us and I've gone and laid another one of these fence foundations here uh, the next step is a windowed wall and I don't know if I actually even want that fence foundation Oh, that's wrong. Okay, watch what you're watch what you're demol demolishing. Seriously. Okay, so time for a windowed wall. So this windowed wall is going to go here. That looks perfect. We're going to put a glass window in it. Perfect. And then this next section is really interesting. This section is majority 
glass. Now, if I could, I'd just do a window here, but I want an easy way to walk out onto this little porch. So we're going to do a door frame and a door. Perfect. Open that up. And on the inside, on this side, we're going to do a full on glass pane. Uh, they are really good looking and it's going to be a cool uh, sort of modern addition to this build. Now the rest of this gets actually incredibly simple. We've got a wooden wall here and then along the back we have door frames and door frames only. Alright guys, so this door frame gets it out here and the other one is essential for accessing storage which before we throw a roof on we are going to have to go ahead and get set up. So let's see if I have brought along some large storage. I did, and I brought along more than we needed. I think two is the ideal to try and squeeze in here. And the key, guys, if you can get this in now before you put your sloped roof on, then you don't have to worry about the ceiling being single high, and you can get this in a really good position. All right, storage number one is in. And we're going to go ahead and cram some more here, as much as we can squeeze. Now, in the other build, I did these horizontally with their backs to the wall. I kind of like this version. Now, I would love to put a door on there, but one of the issues I found is when I drive and then dismount, I'd actually get stuck in the wall. And if this was a solid wall, instead of a door frame, I had real issues. So now that that's in place, it's time for sloped wooden roofs. Now these are uh, you're ideally gonna line up with your stone roofs and they're ideally going to just collide or intersect with these. So this allows you to squeeze these right up against the wall, barely any space in between, easily accessible from the back here. And then um, it doesn't look too goofy sticking out the top, believe it or not. Uh, so we're actually coming to the end of the exterior of this build. And we've done a little bit of the interior just to get ourselves a step ahead. We need uh, sloped wooden roofs in the corners here. And actually, you have to do that before you do your sloped roof. Now, uh, these should be pretty straightforward. The ones that go around the glass are going to look a little bit funky. Uh, but nothing you can do about that. We'll slap this in. You see it sticks through a little bit here, and this is actually going to stick through the sloped roof, the top of this. But we'll do the best with what we've got. Um, sloped roof there, and another one here. And that actually does it for the exterior of this build. All right, guys, so that's it. That is what your exterior should look like. We still have to put a couple of doors along the back, but we're going to include that as part of the interior design, which will be in the final phase, I think phase four of this build. So let me take a break and I will be back with you in just a minute. Okay, geeks, rise and shine. This is what we've ended up with, and I think it looks pretty great. Moving on to the final phase and doing some interior decoration. So let's get ourselves started with that. I'm going to turn on the HUD and I'm actually going to get a torch in my hand. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and close this off. Uh, and we'll try and close off the one from this side too just for... Oh, it won't let me. Right, right. Cool. Uh, I've already done this one over here. So now it is time for the big stuff. I have a fireplace. Now the idea would be to cram it directly centered on this wall like we did in the other build. Now it might give me a little bit of trouble when it comes to doing that. So let's see. All right. Clicked. Okay. How's she look? I like. That is just about perfect. We're going to go ahead, throw some spark powder in there and get that lit up. While we're doing this, let's work on the lighting. All right, guys. Time for another a uh, bit of lighting. We're going to do wall torches. Now, you can see that flickering in and out. When I was placing this, I had trouble with it trying to choose a snapping point. So you may need to try this more than once. We got lucky on the first try. So I'm going to fill that up with spark powder too, and we'll light it up. Now, this little room is a bedroom, so I wanted it to have the warm orangey light. And to make it a bedroom, we're going to go ahead and cram one of these in there. Let's see. Oh god, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? Okay. All right, geeks, this bed is a lot like these large storage containers. Go ahead and place them first. 
Uh, if you try and place them after these walls are in place, you can have a lot of trouble. So I had to take some things down, rebuild them. Um, try to make this one of your early placements so that you don't have the same trouble I do or find another spot for it if you don't want it in the exact spot. I got it. You shouldn't have too much trouble. Um, so now we continue with our interior decoration. We started last time with one of these wall torches and we're getting the same sort of vibrating effect we're getting. Whatever, it goes in the right spot. Now when you're lighting up this room, fill them with angler gel to get really the look you're going for grab some more wall torches right there and what height did I put that okay I put it right there so that should be roughly the same height just count the boards down if you're worried about symmetry load this one up with angler gel and light it up Perfect. Okay, we don't have a whole lot more to do. A little bit on the interior, we need a preserving bin. So let's go ahead and, hmm. You know what, let's put our table in first. I had a table tucked into this little corner. Let's see if we can find a good spot for it. That looks like it right there. Whoops, I'm getting a little lag, aren't I? Oh, there we go. Okay, so table in place, and now we're going to go ahead and use the bench. All right, guys, time to drop a little bench, like picnic bench style, tucked in there. Is that going to give us any trouble getting in and out of our door? Oh, it totally will. Okay, let me do some rearranging. So one option when you have, uh, when it comes to constructing, guys, is putting a glass wall here keeping your wooden uh, wall but having a door frame instead and then putting a glass door. That's what I did in the last build and it allowed me to squeeze a table in this corner. If you have a look, those are both solid pieces and there's a door behind the seats which would be right around here. Um, so we're actually going to attempt to use this new style of build and come up with a slightly different interior layout. So I'm gonna squeeze a table uh, tucked right in against these storage containers, if I can make it happen. Do that, and we'll tuck a bench, if I can find one. Yeah, perfect. So we'll tuck a bench right there, and uh, you know what, if I have a mortar and pestle, that might make a cool thing to add, I do. So we'll go ahead and put the mortar and pestle right there. And I have, what do I have left? Not a whole lot. I have a vessel, I have more wall torches, but we're good. I got some chairs and a preserving bin. So the preserving bin's the last thing we really need to sneak into this build, and there are plenty of spots you could put it. I'm just gonna tuck it right here like that, not too crowded. Now you can decide which interior design you like better, my old one or my current one, but this is the place. The last step we need guys as the sun sets on us over here is a fishing spot. Now with the door here, I'm gonna move the fishing spot to this little platform. Instead of a two man fishing spot, I think I might just go with a one man. This is a solitary cabin and I can't imagine uh, you're having a whole lot of company when you're living in a place as tiny as this. So let's get ourselves a chair and we're going to go ahead and put down a vessel. This is really just for decoration to give you a, a little something uh, of interest out on this area. And that's it. All right, geeks. Here by the moonlight, I will let you go. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to look in the cards. You are gonna find lots more cool building videos, potentially some stuff you've never seen before, and you might even wanna subscribe. But this has been the Swamp Cabin Build. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.